Aaron, you scored the winner last year. How much has that done for you and how much are you looking forward to this? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, to play in another final is a... Uh, that's where we want to be as uh, professional footballers and you know it's another opportunity to win the FA Cup and um, you know to score the winner last year that was just a, a, a dream come true and you know hopefully I can uh, relive that again. Are you a better player now than you were a year ago? I think I've uh, grown up even more, um, learned some more things uh, this year and hopefully I, I'm always improving. Um, throughout my career and that's what I want to try and achieve so so yeah I think so uh, I've been told I can ask a couple of questions about the uh, the big game uh, Chris Coleman saying yesterday he's going to watch the final with the, almost uh, <laughs> hiding his eyes to make sure you come through okay um, how conscious are you that you only just got one big game people in Wales think you've got two huge games coming yeah of course it's a massive game for us um, you know we're in a great position at the moment and uh, you know, if we can get a, a good result, you know we're we're in a very strong position then in the group. So, you know, it'll be in front of a sellout crowd at uh, at Cardiff. So, uh, it'll be uh, a game, you know, that we're all looking forward to to playing in and, and showing what we can do. We've progressed so much over the last, you know, four years or whatever it is now, and um, you know to finally be competing now against these sort of teams is uh, is where we wanted to be and and now that we're here we want to you know make it count and and, and finally uh, qualify for a championship the biggest Wales game you've played in? I think so yeah with what's riding on it um, and the position that we're in at the moment is, is definitely uh, probably yeah the biggest one that I've played in and on the cup I know you're gonna get a close look at Ben Teppe yeah he's uh, he's been in great form of late, um, you know it's been a difficult season for for uh, Aston Villa, but they did manage to stay up in the end, and you know they showed some good form towards the back end of the season, and he was in amongst all the goals really, and um, he's going to be a big threat uh, for them on the day. The last one for me, Mikel Arteta was saying that you've been really impressed with the character you've shown, come through all the injuries and all the other stuff. You feel you you're on the brink in the next year or so of getting the rewards that that you wanted. Yeah, uh, you know I've um, I thank him for that, but uh, you know I've been through a lot in my career so far, and um, I'm still only 24, so um, there's still so much to to achieve and to win. So that's what I'll be uh, aiming to do now, and you know hopefully we can uh, win something this year win the FA Cup and, and that'll be two things then in two years so um, you know hopefully we can just keep that going and that run of, of winning things Aaron it was a, a roller coaster final last year can you just talk us through your emotions in that game you said you were 2 nil down after 8 minutes and, and then to come back to yeah obviously we were um, yeah 2 nil down and you know starting to you know question is it going to be our day sort of thing but you know I, I, f I felt there was a lot of time left in the game to, to get back into it and obviously the goal before half time was vital for us and uh, thankfully Santi stuck his free kick in, into the top corner and then you know we still had a full half to get back into it then so I was uh, I was thankful in the way that they did score their two goals early on in the game and that we did have a large chunk of the game uh, to still get back into it. So at that moment when you went 2-0 down your, your reaction was was it kind of Kickstart. Yeah, I think so. Um, especially, you know, we, we started a lot of games slowly uh, up until then. Um, that was another another uh, occasion where we did start off slowly and, and then that sort of gave us the uh, um, the kick that we needed, you know, to, to, to get going. And, um, and we managed to, to, like I said, score before half time and then, you know, I felt like we were in control of the game and created a few opportunities then to to get back into it and, and we managed to do that and win in extra time. You've had a lot of big moments in your career, was scoring the winner the biggest so far? Didn't yeah I think so, I think uh, it's definitely up there uh, to score the winner in, in an FA Cup final is every boy's dream and I managed to live there and um, and to you know finally win something after all them years and the sort of pressure that is put on this club with 
uh, not winning something was uh, it was such a nice feeling and relief at the end to, to finally uh, win something. Do you feel the way that you did it, going behind, going through extra time, that kind of you prepared for almost every eventuality mm -hmm. on Saturday? Yeah, we uh, we never do it easy, but um, you know, I'm sure some of the fans would like it done a bit easier next time, and hopefully that will be the case on Saturday. But um, but yeah, I think like you said we've experienced what it's like now going a few goals behind early on in the game but we still believed in ourselves and our ability to get through it and hopefully it'll be another uh, you know hopefully it'll be a bit easier than that and we won't have to put so many people through that but they're a good team very solid and you know like I said of late they've been in really good form so we'll have to be aware of that there's a lot of talk at the time that winning the first trophy as this group would give you a sort of winning mentality would kick on have you seen that during the course of this season have you noticed a change now that you've got that monkey off your back you're like not winning, winning in nine years yeah I think so um, um, I think you know we're in another final this year in the FA Cup so that takes some doing you know back to back finals that's not an easy thing to, to achieve so I think um, you know as well especially second half of the season we showed the form that uh, that you need throughout the season to win this league, but we certainly showed that we are capable of, of going on these big runs and and um, not losing too many games. And uh, you know, if we can just you know uh, show that consistency throughout the season, we'll be uh, uh, we'll be challenging for the Premiership, and that's what we'll be looking to uh, looking to do next year. And I think. I'll have a great opportunity to do now. Just finally for me, you've obviously gone from fourth to third in the league. Do you feel you have to retain the FA Cup to, to call this a successful season or to call it progress? Um, <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, it, it would be fair to say that. I think, you know, if we do go on to win, I think it'll be a successful season then. You know, getting third in the league. You know, not having to qualify for Champions League that that also helps. You know, the beginning of the season, you're not playing the extra two games. Um, so yeah, I think yeah, I think it's fair to say. Aaron, on a similar note, um, it seems that you've got quite a hard time off the media of not beating the big clubs. That's always been the the thing that's been thrown at you. What's different this year? Because you have been much better. Uh, I think in the past we've been a bit too naive. Um, maybe try to be a play like play the the way that we like to play um a bit too much and we leave ourselves a bit too much uh too open at times in the game and against that quality you know if you do lose the ball or uh high up the pitch you know they're gonna sort of punish you and i think we are we were guilty of that for the for a couple of years but i think this year we've been a lot more solid as a team we haven't given them so much space to 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 play and we've been quite compact and then um, and we've managed to take our chances in uh, at the other end and I think uh, that's a step forward from from last year and like I said the the only thing now I think we need to do is get that consistency throughout the season um, to, to challenge for the Premiership. Are you as hungry at Aaron for the Cup as you were collectively this time last year? Do you have to be even hungry at this time? Yeah, I think so. You know, even though we've been there in that situation and and we've won, we won it last year. You know, I think it's still so important to have that hunger, that determination to go out there and prove that you know you're you're worthy winners because you know there's so many upsets happen in in the FA Cup um, and you know look what happened uh, in the last round. Everyone fancied Liverpool to go through and Villa overturned them. So. Um, you know, it's it's not going to be an easy game. Uh, it's, uh, we're going to have to be aware of that. But you know, I've seen it th with all the lads, and uh, we're st we're even more hungry to win something now. We want that feeling that we had last year, um, and yeah, we want to go on and, uh, and win more things after that as well. Hopefully, Just a quick question on Wales as well. Uh, Gareth Bale, she do you leave Real Madrid and come home to play somewhere <laughs> close to that home? Uh, that's not my uh, not my decision. I don't want to give my opinion on that, you know. Um, but every time he comes up with Wales, I can say that he's he puts in a great performance. He puts on a show. He sh he can show what he can do. You know, the last game he scored a couple of goals, and you know whatever's going on over there it certainly doesn't affect him in a in a Welsh shirt. Aaron, a win on Saturday, and you've got the record 
out on your own for the most FA Cups as a club. Have the players discussed that at all? And would that mean anything to you personally? Yeah, that would obviously be really nice to to have that record to to pass. I think United is a um, so yeah, it, it would be a be a great achievement for for the club. Um, you know, and a bit of you know be involved in that history and in, in achieving that. So um, a couple of the players and are aware of that, and you know, it doesn't make any difference. We still want to go out there as a group of players and 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 win the FA Cup, no matter if it was that or if it was the first time we. Does the manager's history and position give you and the rest of the squad confidence going into the final? Yeah, I think he uh, he gives us confidence no matter whatever game it is. You know, even though he's been very successful in this competition and is very experienced, um, anytime we go onto the pitch, you know, he has the belief in us that we can go out there and express ourselves, and and that's the you know the best sort of way to um, to sort of uh, repay his faith in, in in us is to go out there and express ourselves and show ourselves what we can do. Um, and be creative and, and you know, score lots of goals. And I just asked, there was a report last week claiming that once Barcelona's transfer embargo is lifted, they'd be willing to spend £50 million pounds on you. What do you make of that news? I don't know. That's, uh, that's just something that's been written in the in the papers. And, um, you know, I'm focused on Arsenal and, and winning the FA Cup, so that sort of news doesn't affect me or uh, even enter my mind. Does it appeal to you then? No, no, this time I'm focusing on the FA Cup, so that's what appeals to me at this moment in time. Aaron, close to 9,000 fans travelled to Old Trafford to watch Arsenal win in the quarter final. How important are they going to be in the final, do you think? Yeah, it's always uh, important to have your fans, you know, <coughs> behind you and supporting you. And, you know, even though last year we went 2 0 down at Wembley, you know, you could still really hear them. You know, trying to to get us back into the game, and I thought they played a major part in that in getting us back in into the game, and <coughs> um, and to to get over uh, the final hurdle and, and to win the game. So um, they're massive to us, and you know, you can see the amount of support that uh, that they show us and, and that they give us. You know, even on the parade when we had uh, two hundred fifty thousand fans on the streets and. You know, you can see all the uh, how much this means to them. So hopefully, we can give them something like that again uh, and a day to remember. Oh, just ask it, the boss says he doesn't keep his medals. He doesn't know where some of them are. I just <coughs> wonder what you did with yours. Uh, they're in my in my trophy cabinet, which is growing slowly. <laughs> do you, do you, so you, do you keep them sort of on show in the house? Um, yeah, they're in my in my office room. Yeah. Thank Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thank Thank Cheers, guys. Cheers.